Let's denote the left hand side integral 0 to pi upon 2 f cos 2x cos x dx by i. Now recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a gx dx is equal to integral 0 to a g of a minus x dx. Using this result, i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 and in the integrand replace x with pi upon 2 minus x therefore we get f of cos of 2 times in brackets pi upon 2 minus x times cos of pi upon 2 minus x dx. Cos of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to sin x therefore i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of cos of pi minus 2x times sin x dx. The cos of pi minus 2x is equal to minus cos 2x and therefore i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of minus cos 2x times sin x dx. Now we are given that fx is an even function and therefore f of minus cos 2x is equal to f of cos 2x. Using this result, the value of i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of cos 2x sin x dx. Now we denote the original expression for i by 1 and the latest result for i by 2 and adding 1 and 2 we get 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of cos 2x multiplied by in brackets cos x plus sin x dx. Now let's represent the integrand here by hx. Let's evaluate h of pi upon 2 minus x. This is equal to f of cos of 2 times pi upon 2 minus x multiplied by in brackets cos of pi upon 2 minus x plus sin of pi upon 2 minus x cos of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to sin x and sin of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to cos x. Therefore, h of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to f of cos of pi minus 2x multiplied by in brackets sin x plus cos x. Now, cos of pi minus 2x is equal to minus cos 2x. Therefore, this simplifies to f of minus cos 2x times cos x plus sin x. Again, since fx is an even function, f of minus cos 2x is equal to f of cos 2x. And therefore, the value of h pi upon 2 minus x is equal to f cos 2x times cos x plus sin x, which is equal to hx. Therefore, we have established that h pi upon 2 minus x is equal to h of x. Now again, we recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to 2a kx dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a kx dx if k of 2a minus x is equal to kx. In this case we have established that h of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to h of x and therefore using this result 2i which is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 hx dx can also be written as 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 hx dx. Now substituting the value of hx, we get 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of cos 2x times cos x plus sin x dx. Multiplying and dividing the integrand by root 2 and noting that cos x upon root 2 plus sin x upon root 2 can be written as cos x times cos of pi upon 4 plus sin x times sin of pi upon 4 which is equal to cos of pi upon 4 minus x. And therefore, we get i is equal to root 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of cos 2x times cos of pi upon 4 minus x dx. Now we'll again use the property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a tx dx is equal to integral 0 to a t of a minus x dx. Therefore using this result i is equal to root 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 and in the integrand we will replace x with pi upon 4 minus x therefore we get f of cos of 2 times in brackets pi upon 4 minus x times cos of pi upon 4 minus in brackets pi upon 4 minus x dx. This simplifies to 
root 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of cos of pi upon 2 minus 2x times cos x dx. Now cos of pi upon 2 minus 2x is equal to sine 2x and therefore i is equal to root 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of sine 2x times cos x dx which is the required result.